finally got the Porsche back from Santa Clarita and picked it up. Car drives amazing, but uh, it was a lot of money. So I originally went there for just the uh, coolant system smell and they needed an oil change. So I was like, I'll just take it to the dealership, get it done. I should be covered on warranty. And then, of course, I knew I was going to pay for the uh, oil change. But, um, I have the paper. I don't, I think it's inside the house, but, uh. So, they fixed the cooling system. Because it was, like, I always smelled coolant, like, even when I lived in Virginia. Like, I've always smelled it, like, randomly. And then, uh, I needed uh, rotors and pads all around. And supposedly my axles... The boots were torn on both sides, which I hear is actually uh, super common. And um, what else? So because of the axles, they need to do an alignment. And then my windshield wiper nozzles never sprayed. Well, they did, but like over time, they just kind of like stopped. So then I got that checked out as well. And um, so I'm thinking, okay, so these pads and rotors are going to go on FCP Euro right now and get the whole brake kit four pads or four sets of pads four rotors it comes with the uh, sensors and all that good stuff clips everything you could think of and lifetime warranty from scp euro for about like 800 bucks i think probably even less so with that in mind i was like mm, probably cost me maybe every bit of like two thousand dollars to get the brakes done at a dealership because you know dealerships are always way more expensive but no, it was $1,500 just in labor to put the pads and rotors on. And then all the parts was almost $4,000. So I spent like almost $6,000 just on replacing my pads and rotors at the dealership. And then the hose for the windshield wiper nozzles somehow that was like so the part was like fifty dollars and then labor was like five hundred dollars some bullshit like that and then you know and uh warranty covered everything else but just like it just blew my mind like i was not expecting it to be that much money and i know everyone's like oh yo the dealership always gets you blah blah or oh that's what you get for you know buying a porsche but everything's paid for i got the car back it's just crazy. I'll go over like the breakdown. I have it inside the house. I'll go grab it. But besides that, the car feels amazing. They washed it and vacuumed it for me. Um, I got my $500 oil change. And yeah, the car feels great. It needed, it needed, you know, all that work after the long drive from Virginia to California. So I was expecting to put some money into it. But honestly, next time. Definitely doing the brakes myself. Could have made a fun video for you guys doing that. But I just figured I'd get it knocked out while I was waiting on the car anyways. So. But that's that. And yeah, I'll give you guys a nice walk around of the car. Maybe we can check out the stuff they did. Maybe we can see the new axles. The new brakes and all that good stuff. Alright, so this is the oil change. They gave me $130 off. Okay, so I guess that's a labor and that's the supplies. So it came out to $430. This one is a coolant smell that I told you guys about. I don't know what the hell they did, but just the antifreeze alone is $131. Let's see. All right, so also like, so there's like a weird like noise. I didn't find anything. All right, so this is the uh, pads and rotors. One set of brake pads, just the pads, one set. It's $400. The little brake wear indicators, which are the stupid little sensors that go on your pads and say that, oh, you need brakes. Two of them. 
$300 a piece, 200 bucks. All right, so these screws, I guess that's just like new hardware for the rotor, I mean the calipers. Need four of them. $18 a piece, that's $75. These clips that, you know, they're already on the car, but I guess they should replace them, I don't know. They're $160 a piece for two clips. So 321 for both of them. Let's see. Brake disc. It doesn't say if it's front or rear, but just one brake disc. It was $400. The other brake disc was $400. One set of brake pads again, I guess for the rear. $286. Cable wear indicator. I guess there's four of them. Oh, well, there's only two. One, one rear, one in the front. But two hundred dollars for those. More screws. Forty bucks. A spring clip kit. So this is not the same as the anti rattle clip. Two hundred dollars. And then more brake discs. And somehow these are $583 for two of them. So this is the labor, $1,500. All the parts is $3,121 for a total of $4,600. Just to do my brakes. All right. Uh, the drive shaft is the uh, the axles that they replaced. One axles. I don't have to pay for any of this shit. So, but they did both sides. And then they gave me a wheel alignment for free, supposedly. And then so it's four hundred dollars. Vehicle equipped with aftermarket OEM suspension, non OEM suspension, unable to bring alignment within Porsche specifications. Recommended customer install Porsche OEM suspension and re reassess. So they did a, a, an alignment, but they couldn't get it to spec. So, and then that's the washer fluid. Let's see, just the line that needed to be replaced it was 50 bucks, and then the labor was. Almost 500 bucks. So, that's how much everything costs together. It's 12 grand. And somehow I still had to pay half of it, even though the car is under warranty. I don't know what this shit is. My tires. So that was everything I got done. The car was gone for maybe like three weeks. They didn't have a loaner car for me. So I got an Uber ride home, which was like an hour and a half away. And then they offered to, uh, when the car was ready to pick up, they offered to tow it to like my house. But I wanted to go there, check out the car, you know, drive it back. So experience was great. The dealership was awesome. Uh, service advisor is great. I was just taken back by how much just pads and rotors cost. I should have did it myself. Well, next time, I definitely will do it myself. I could have got the two-piece gyro disc for less than that. And, you know, whatever. But I appreciate you guys uh, watching the video. And just want to let you guys know, if you can do the maintenance yourself, I recommend you do it. Don't be lazy. And I'll show you some more clips of the car. I know it's been a while since you guys have seen it. So. So, got new rotors. Nice and pretty. New pads. New sensors, all that good stuff. Let's 
see if you can see the uh, axles from the rear. It's in the rear. I've never seen those pins pushed in so far before. Can't really tell. Oh yeah, those are the new axles. Can't really tell. Oh, there we go. 